How would you know? How would you really know if someone is undermining you? In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify the signs and put a stop to it once and for all. Welcome to the channel, Leadership with Mike. On this channel, I help you become a more confident leader and I do this with no nonsense sense, if that makes any sense. So today, I want to talk about something that we all experience at some point in our lives, undermining. Whether it's from a colleague, a friend, or a family member, it can really be tough to deal with. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to spot the signs and put a stop to it. One of the key signs that someone is undermining you is if they always have to be right. This can manifest itself in a variety of ways, from insisting on their opinion being heard over yours, by consistently correcting and nitpicking your work in an effort to make them look better. It can also take the form of monopolizing conversations, making sure that their voice is heard over yours and dominating the conversation with so many ideas and information. This behavior can be very difficult to handle as it's often done subtly without malice so that they can maintain the, I'm innocent, I didn't do anything. This will cause damage to your reputation as people come to associate your work with theirs and question if it truly even belongs to you. Did you actually do anything to stop this? It's important to recognize the signs early on and call them out on their attempts at undermining you before it becomes damaging. Make sure that everyone in the team has their voice heard by using strategies like giving each person time to present their ideas or taking turns speaking during a meeting or brainstorming session. Also, establish yourself as an authority figure through validating your own opinions and decisions instead of ceding them blindly to someone who will be trying to take advantage of you. Another telltale sign that someone is undermining you is when they regularly make cutting remarks about your work. These can range from critical feedback on a job well done to knowing jabs that leave you feeling deflated and discouraged. These comments may be subtle or direct, but either way, the intent is to just chip away at your confidence in order to reduce your perceived value as an employee. What's worse is these remarks often get dressed up in the cloak of helpful advice or constructive criticism. <laughs> While the person might think they're being helpful by providing suggestions, their underlying motive is usually self-serving and intended to put you down. This behavior should not be tolerated and should be addressed ASAP. A few examples of behaviors indicative of someone attempting to undermine you include nitpicking small details, taking credit for ideas or accomplishments that weren't really yours, sniping or bitching when you receive recognition, assigning blame in group settings, and openly dismissing your contributions during meetings, conversations, etc. If any of these things sound all too familiar, it's likely time to take action and address the issue head on. No, don't start a fight, but do <laughs> nip it in the bud. The next thing someone who's undermining you might be doing is they might constantly criticize your decisions, making it difficult to make any progress, no matter how hard you might be trying. They may question the validity, the validity of a decision or offer up unsolicited opinions that contradict yours. This type of behavior creates an environment of doubt and can erode confidence in your decisions. It is also a form of passive aggression as they're not willing to confront you directly, but instead they just choose to undermine you through criticism. Criticism can come in many forms, such as nitpicking small details, attacking the way you communicate rather than what is being said, resorting to personal attacks instead of addressing an issue head on. Or they can speak with an overly condescending tone without proper support from authority figures. These undermining behaviors lead to long-term issues such as low morale, negative team dynamics. To stop this type of behavior, it's important for managers, for you, to set clear lines of communication and expectations about what is acceptable level of criticism. It's essential for you to be aware of how their feedback is received 
An honest critique should always be framed positively so as not to make employees or your staff feel inferior or discouraged. We want our teams to feel encouraged. Kind of like I'm going to encourage you to click clack that like button. Another very telling sign that someone is undermining you is when they take credit for your idea. Like duh. This type of behavior can be extremely damaging and demoralizing, leaving you feeling undervalued and just screwed. Feel like you got screwed. It's also very hurtful if this person is in a higher position than you and has greater influence over others. A class example would be your manager passes off an idea that was yours, then taking all the praise from the colleagues, the superiors for its success. This not only devalues your contribution, but it also puts you at in a disadvantage in terms of career growth and recognition within the company. And it also causes tension amongst employees and creates resentment between them and the manager. The best way to address this issue is standing up for yourself. Don't let anyone take credit for your hard work. You put in the work. If you feel someone has done this, approach them directly and ask them to acknowledge your contribution. Also, make sure to document any ideas that were yours to ensure that they don't try to pass them off as their own again. Taking proactive steps like these will help protect you from being undermined in the future and ensure that your efforts are acknowledged and appreciated by those around you, as they should. Another sign that someone may be trying to undermine you is if they try to control you or the situation. If a person tries to dictate how you should handle tasks, interfere with your decisions and people management, or override your authority, this can be a huge red flag that they're trying to take your power. This behavior may start off subtle and it can go easily unnoticed, but it will eventually become more blatant as the person attempts to gain more control. They may use phrases like, you should do this, that, and the other thing, or my way is better rather than offering suggestions or alternatives. They could also criticize your work performance publicly in order to belittle you and make themselves look better in comparison. If someone is trying to control you, it is very important for you to take action and reassert your dominance <laughs> before the situation escalates. It's essential that you keep an eye out for any signs of possible manipulation and not allow anyone else to make decisions on your behalf without your permission. Now, one of the most obvious signs that someone is undermining you is when they spread rumors about you behind your back. This type of behavior can be very damaging to a manager because it destroys your reputation and credibility at work. People who are engaging in this type of activity may attempt to spread falsehoods or exaggerations about your capabilities or achievements. They might seek to discredit you with colleagues and peers, gossip about you and create negative impressions or even directly attack your character. It's important as managers that we remain aware of these types of activities as they have a serious repercussion on your professional life. It's also important to address these issues immediately and stop them before they become more widespread and damaging. You should take steps such as having conversations with the staff members who may be spreading the rumor or negative gossip, setting the clear expectations in terms of communication within the organization, providing feedback when needed, and taking disciplinary action if necessary. Taking a proactive approach will ensure that the effects from someone who is undermining you are minimized and that potential damage is prevented from escalating further. Remember, these rumors can have a serious effect on your career. It can also affect their career because they might get the promotion you were looking for. Another sign, if there's not enough, another sign that someone is undermining you is when they're always angling for a promotion or a better position at your expense. This means, or this could involve them taking credit for your ideas, trying to build relationships with higher ups in the organization, and repeatedly pushing their own agenda forward. It may also include them making comments about your work in front of others, questioning decisions you make, or attempting to sway opinion away from you. 
they may strategically align themselves with other people who are in positions of power or use subtle forms of manipulation like flattery or compliments to try to boost their own status and favor from those above you. They may also be quick to criticize your mistakes and slow to recognize any successes for fear of it increasing your visibility compared to theirs. To make sure this isn't happening, you need to stay up to date on what others are doing in the company by developing an active network. Check in regularly with people across the organizations, have open conversations about progress and goals, and keep track of any instances where someone may be taking credit for your efforts. Again, I don't want you to live in fear. And everybody is able to make their own networking or, or do their own networking. But try to make sure that they're not stepping on you in order to get there. If they get there from their own value that they offer, that's great. But if they minimize you, if they backstab you, I don't think it needs to be said. Not so great. Here's another thing to look at. When things don't go their way, it's your fault. Employees may take out their frustrations on managers if they feel that it's a safe outlet to do so. This behavior can be especially damaging when it's done in a public setting or an environment where their witnesses are around. In these cases, the undermining behavior often makes us feel like we're being disrespected or devalued among our staff, which in turn affects workplace morale and productivity. If you're constantly butting heads with someone at work, it may be because they're trying to undermine you. Look out for these signs and nip them in the bud before they do any real damage to your career. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure that you watch this one here because I talk about the different types of people that will be undermining you and how to deal with them. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Get your KFE. I'll see you in the next video.